Hey, everybody. Welcome to Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. I am going to also be posting this live on Facebook. Um, so if you hear me typing, that is what is happening. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to do it also on, on uh, Facebook. All right. So here we go. So it's probably a recording. So for those of you who are listening to the podcast version, the audio version, welcome. And for those who are watching the video, also welcome. I am so glad to be here and so glad to see you. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a podcast, but I mean, there was one out last week. I don't know. The past week has seemed <laughs> really long um, in a good way. So um, let me just check. Okay. So Welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Nicole Simonin, and I help women over 40 lose weight for the last time. A um, little bio background on me. I used to be a professional ballet dancer many moons ago, and I was a physical therapist assistant, personal trainer. Um, I am an author of a cookbook, and which you can find on Amazon. And I am getting ready to do my second TEDx talk, which will be coming up in October. And I'm really hoping that it is going to be live and on stage. Fingers crossed, um, it's October, I forget, October 24th um, in Cape May. So if you're in the area and you want to check it out, come see it. So today on the podcast or the video, whichever version you're watching, we are going to talk about if you did it once, you can do it again. So a couple of weeks ago, I was talking to a friend and they were saying how they had gained some weight. And this person had lost a significant amount of weight over about a year or so ago and was notably upset that they had gained some weight back. And I told them, if you lost it once, you can lose it again. And later on, I was thinking about that conversation and I wish I had added that if you lost the weight using restriction and deprivation and you were miserable the whole time, Yes, technically you do know how to lose it, but do you really want to go through that again? Most women who come to me have tried all the diets, but if you were miserable, you will not want to put yourself through that whole process again. And I think this is part of the problem where people, you know, they attempt these diets and then, you know, it doesn't work for them and they get frustrated, but they're like, oh, God, I like go do it again. But here's the deal. You can eat six meals a day. You can eat three meals and one snack. You can eat one meal a day. You can food log, you can count points, you can do macros, you can do all kinds of things. You can obsess about every little thing that you put in your mouth to eat. You can stress over should I or shouldn't I. You can freak out every time you go into a restaurant. You can be so incredibly nervous that you won't be able to control yourself when the birthday cake comes out. You can continue to complain to your BFF that you just can't lose the weight. But is this how you want to live your life? Have you ever heard the song by Train? It's called, uh, the title is 50 Ways to Say Goodbye. If you haven't Google it, it is absolutely one of my favorite songs because it is hysterical to me. I think it's the funniest song, but it's about a breakup and how this guy is telling everyone, like all his friends, the horrible things that happened to the girlfriend who broke up with him, and why she's not any, you know, she's not around anymore. So some of the lyrics are, she went down in an airplane, got fried getting suntan, got eaten by a lion. And my absolute favorite line is, got run over by a crappy purple scion. So this is very much like losing weight. There are so many different ways to lose weight and you get to tell the story of how you lost it. Are you telling the story that it's super hard to lose weight? That you can't even eat one little ounce of bread or you're gonna blow up like a puffer fish? That you just can't seem to lose the weight because it always keeps coming back? Weight loss does not have to feel like you got run over by a crappy purple scion. There is a much easier and simpler way. And it starts with you. How do you want to feel as you're losing the weight? How do you want to think about your body right now 
and also later when you get to your ideal physique. Restrictions and deprivation are no-nos in my book. No foods are off limits. And you need to be able to love the weight loss journey or you will never be able to maintain that weight loss. I teach my clients how to enjoy this process. I show them how to lose the weight and how to keep it off. So after you're done working with me, you have the tools and the skills that you need to know exactly how to maintain your weight from now until you leave this earth. How freeing would it be to lose weight effortlessly? So imagine all the new conversations you can have with your friends because you are no longer talking about what to eat, when to eat, should I have eaten that, shouldn't I have eaten that, you know, food, 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 weight, 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 diet. There is an alternative way to losing weight and loving life while you do it. A way where it's easy, the freedom to choose what you want to eat and still lose the weight in a very relaxed and calm way manner. I know this sounds crazy. And especially if you're a woman over 40, you think this place does not exist because that's what you were taught. I promise you it is there. And I would love to show you how to get there. So if you are ready for a simpler way to lose weight and you're ready to learn it, go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L, and schedule your discovery call with me today. So on this call, tell me all your struggles. Tell me all the diets you've tried. Tell me everything. Tell me what you really want to see happen. And I will point out some of the blind spots that I see. And we'll talk about how you can get the results that you want and what it would be like to work together. I know you've been taught that the only way to lose weight is to beat yourself down and force yourself to eat foods that you do not want to eat but there is a simpler way to do it. So book your call at shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L, and get started on a stress-free way to lose weight. Again, that link is shapeitupfitness.com slash call. Have a beautiful day, and I will talk to you on your discovery call. And that's all for me. Take care.